65. Now on Meridian, Roxanne is hospitalized in night and day. They're very mild. They'll just help you relax. They're antihistamines. Even Roxanne could take them. I'm Ms. Bradshaw. I thought we were seeing a Smith. We're 16 now. I guess everyone thinks I have to be all profound about things. You'll love it over at the breaks. Even Roxanne could take them. It wasn't far, but I mean, it was quite a fall. But she fell straight like backwards. But obviously, I mean, the most important put thing is the baby. I mean, is there any danger? You know? Come on. Is, is the baby going to be all right? Night, Mrs. Brake. Good night, you two. Frankie, have you had a word with your dad about moving back? <laughs> I mean, it's been lovely having you here. You've become like a daughter to me. But he is your dad, and, well, it's hardly an ideal arrangement, is it? Rocks, rocks, come oh, on. Please. You've got to monitor you properly overnight. Overnight? No, 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 you cannot. You just, you can't leave me here. What do you mean? This place, it's... It's evil. Mum. Oh, listen, you heard what they said. It was quite an awkward fall, right? So for the baby's sake and for yours... Which Don't we... even try, you. Oh, please, you know... Do you know what? In fact, I think, what have you been in on it, haven't you? You've been drugging me up, sedating me. I mean, if I hadn't been, I wouldn't have fallen down those stupid stairs in the first place. Sedatives? Well, what are you talking about? Do you know none of you know what it's like to have to carry a baby and these mood swings? Well, guess what? It's hormones, all right? But you know how vulnerable I feel at the moment. I am not mad. I'm pregnant, all right? I mean, can you just get that straight? Come on, Rox. Look, of course I took that into consideration, honestly. I mean, but seriously, I mean, you've been... Well, way beyond. Whoa, hang on. You've been feeding Mum sedatives? What? To make her more manageable? Mum, I didn't know anything about it. I only discovered he was doing it when you fell down the stairs, oh, Mum, honestly. Oh, baby girl, I believe you. Honestly, I really do. This, this is crazy. Sorry. No vacancies at the inn. Even Frank's ridden schoolboys. Don't want a vacancy. I want, um... Elocution I... lessons? Holly, I, uh... I... 
ไอฉันกายPrescribed Alex some diphenhydramine, but it, I mean, a pregnant woman could take it, but it was for him. Right. Now, look, if he chose to give some to you, then yeah, it would have had a sedative effect. But you know what, Nat? This is it, right? Oh, right. Well, I don't really think I need to stand around and listen to this. Couldn't sleep. Went for a walk. Okay. Oh, went down to the river. Thought it was out, so I walked along the beach. That's nice. Frankie, you do know I love you, don't you? I was trying to do what was best for her. How can you say that? She probably wouldn't have even had the fall if you hadn't have pumped her full of drugs. I'm sorry, love. It is my fault. I was trying to pretend things were normal. I should have let you know she wasn't well. Must be a bit of a shock for you now, all coming out like this. What do you mean she's not well? Well, yeah, she's not been feeling herself. You know, mentally. Are you saying Mum's going mad? <laughs> It's a bit of a strong word for it. Oh, Della. But we can get through this, okay? See, at first I suspected the midwife, but <sighs> I just—I don't know. You know, it really could be anyone. Well, whoever sent it, it suggests they know what happened to Jane. Have you shown them to the police? What about Natalie? Oh, she can go to hell. Oh no! Come on, Roxy. She needs to see them. You know, it mentions her child. Mm, yeah, well, I'm sure Alex has told her already. You think so? 
Look, she swears he never said anything about the pills. I just, I don't know what to think. Steph, hmm? do you think you could tell her? Well, I think you ought to, Roxanne, you know, Natalie and I. Oh, Steph, please, just for me. OK. Oh, is that another one? Still no clues? No. Oh, that's really awful. I'm so sorry. Still, I'm going to have to throw you out now, I'm afraid. Visiting time's over. Don't worry. I'll look after her. Wait, look, can't she, um, can't she just stay? Rules are rules. Sorry. Steph, please don't go. I mean it, please don't go. This is a bad place. It's a really bad place. Can I come in? Well, I'm a bit... Is there a girl in there or something? No. Only me and my associate. How can I help you, young lady? I've come to see Josh, not you. The distinction is irrelevant. What's that on your arm? That would be telling. OK, shut the door now. Come on. So, how goes it? Happy at Tom's? Actually, that's why I've come round. Fiona thinks it's time I move back in. The door's always open, you know that. Frankie. Dad, you're disgusting. I am, aren't I? But Frankie, I know we haven't seen eye to eye recently, but maybe it's time we started to say sorry for whatever and, you know, started afresh. Hi, Frankie. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not what it looks like. The plumbing was broken upstairs, so uh, I had a shower. Right. I see. Now, Frankie. I wasn't born yesterday, Dad. Frankie, what makes you so determined to think I'm such a creep? Do you have to ask? Do you know if they've had the scan results yet? No. I'm so worried. When I went to see your mum last night, it was quite disturbing. It must be a real shock for you. She only fell down the stairs, it's not... Yeah, but, you know, with the alleged state of mind. What does everyone say? My mum's going mad. She's not mad! No, no, I don't think she's mad either. But what with all the other stuff? The pill stuff? No, I mean the... All the letters. I don't know what you mean. Anyway, Holly, what was going on last night? Just an admirer. What admirer? Tom Brake. Not that it's any of your business. Did you find out what happened to Tom last night? Yeah, he went for a walk down by the river. I suggest you sit down. Why? <laughs> what are you doing here? to offer my assistance as soon as Dennis told me about the unfortunate incident. Honestly, you. I mean, you wouldn't cross a road to save a dying child, you. Oh, of course. You've spoken to Alex, haven't you? Mm-hmm. You see, Rachel, I know what you're up to, right? I know you're plotting against me and you two are in league with each other. People are so worried about you, Miss Doyle. I can see why. Come, come, my dear. Grapes. Where did you say you went last night again? Down to the river. So, not with Holly, then? I'm not in my time. Tell me what's going on. Okay. 
Okay, um... I love you, Frankie. I really, really do. And that's what makes this whole thing so terrible. Because I love you, I do. But... I do think about Holly. But in a totally different way. I thought you were different, Tom. I thought you cared. Well, Frankie. You're all the same, thinking about one thing. You. You, man. I don't know what's got into her. Of course, I understand. In times of crisis, one often turns against the people closest to you. We should stand by her. She needs us. Just leave it, all right? I've got enough stresses without you buzzing around mucking things up. My partner's gone nuts, my kids have gone crazy. And the baby. If she loses the baby, I don't know... No, you wouldn't understand. No, of course. I wouldn't. Oh, God, I'm sorry. This morning, I got this one. Look at the way the different words are underlined, too. I mean, it's really crazy. I oh, know. I can't believe Dad knows you're getting these and he thinks you're just doing a wobbly. Not that you're, like, quite reasonably worried or anything. Oh, worried is an understatement. <laughs> Mum, don't worry, OK? Della, you don't think I'm mad, do you? <laughs> of course not. Oh, promise me. Promise. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Look. <laughs> I'll take it home. Come on. I'll wash it. Oh, you are so good to me, you know that? Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She wanted to visit her. I know she was a bit weird last time. Well, that's an understatement and a half. I mean, does she really think she's been receiving these anonymous letters? Some quite threatening. It'd make anyone paranoid. Yes, yes, I know. I know all about them. You know? Well, yes, yeah, she thinks Woody's been sending them. That's how unbalanced she is. But did they tell you what was in them? About Jane. What about Jane? She told me about the letters. It is her who writes them, isn't it? Who do you think it is? I haven't got a clue. Hi. I just wonder what you two are doing this evening. I'm having a little do, chez moi. Mostly neighbours, you know. Community spirit. Bring a bottle if you like. Hmm. I guess. You'll come tonight, won't you, Della? Yeah, sure. It said, don't let what happened to Jane happen to your child. Why didn't they tell me this before? Well, I expect they didn't want it to stir you up again, your feelings as a mother. Oh, look, I'm not some sort of special case. Most women my age are mothers. Well, you wouldn't know that, of course, not having dipped your toe in the water. I've suffered loss. Oh, yes, the loss of a church candlestick. <sighs> it's you. You're the special case. You're the one looking in on other people's families, feeling all superior to them because you haven't got one of your own. You were like kryptonite to families. Like a curse. Steph Mackenzie. Long time no see. Uh, Eddie. It's, it's Woody now. So, it's true about this then, Reverend. Can't believe it. Yes, well, I'm sure you've got... 
A lot to catch up in in your past, and um, don't really think I want to hear it, so I'll leave you to it. Goodbye, darling. So Natalie looks happy. As it happens, we both are. I should go. I really admire traffic wardens. So stoic in the face of all that unpleasantness. It's the jokes that are the worst. People come up to you in the street and actually expect you to laugh at them. Monstrous. I hope you're coming round tonight. I hope so. Bring a bottle if you like. It promises to be rather a memorable evening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Natalie, um, if you're not otherwise engaged, I am actually holding a little gathering this evening. I wonder if you might grace us with your presence. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. It's funny, isn't it? How we find love in the strangest places. <sighs> well, poor Sam, he's had such a grim time just recently. It's nice to think he's going to find some happiness. Maybe they'll be together forever. Yeah. Did you sleep well on the sofa last night? Look, Frankie, I really don't want you to get the wrong end of the stick. No, Tom, don't tell me there's the right end of the stick. Look, I laid awake all last night trying to work this out. And well, some, I guess sometimes my imagination just kind of goes into overtime and makes things up that aren't true. Like Holly. Holly's... Holly's just like a, a bubble, a fantasy. She represents everything that's unattainable. So what do I represent? Everything else. Wow. Look, you don't understand. I did go and see Holly last night, yes. But when I got there, I realised that's not what I want. What do you want? Stability. Sorry, Tom. I won't bore you any longer. Frankie. How did you know about the letters? Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. Last night with Steph. It was you, wasn't it? No. I overheard your dad on his mobile phone discussing the whole thing. So you thought you'd just listen in to other people's business, did you? Well, it's not my fault if they're going to shout it across the rooftops. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Of stuff in there. Oh, have you been playing doctors and nurses again, Dr. Harper? Shall I mended you? Yes, thanks. I've had a man round. You know, it was lucky your dad was there yesterday to help me out. I felt very dirty. You what? I mean, I'm really enjoying our new living arrangements. Having him just underneath me. He says nothing's going on. Well, of course he would. You're his little girl. He knows that you've not had any experience with men. There is more to relationships than that, you know. Like? Stability. Friendship. And what would you know about friendship? More than you'd think. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I know, me too. She was buzzing around. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a bit of tea. <laughs> yeah, look, take this blanket and this pillow. Make yourself comfortable. Best thing about it, we're meant to be going for a soiree at Rachel Conkrins. What? Where's your dad going? I guess so. Oh, that witch trying to steal my family. Well, you know what? She is welcome to them. All except you, of course. It's time your daughter was going now, Miss Doyle. Oh, no, she's left. You know, she just popped in and out. Really? Well, that's strange. I didn't see her leave. What is her special appeal? What does Samuel see in her? Uh, it's weird. It's 
Almost like it's because she's awful. Samuel seems to be suffering from some sort of temporary insanity, and that presumptuous little madam is taking advantage of it. And that, Dennis Doyle, is where you and I come in. She must surely be aware that Prince Charming married Cinderella, not one of the ugly sisters. And if Samuel cannot be made to see sense, then I must be her nemesis. Frankie, uh, did you speak to your dad? Because of these sleeping arrangements, um... Well, we think you're probably a bit old to be sharing a room. Why do you assume things might... We're not like animals, you know. Oh, no, of course not, love. It's just, um... Look, things are okay for now, but in the long term, I think we're going to have to, um, think of something else. Why'd you bother with all that if we're breaking up? Oh, this is lovely. What is it? A Japanese-themed evening? No, Lydia. Moroccan. Can't you tell? The sun-baked ambiance? The sound of the bazaar? Della will be here any minute. Have you seen Della? I thought she was coming with you. Yeah, I've been waiting in for her all evening. She's not answering her mobile. I don't know what's going on. When did you last see her? She was at school this afternoon. I mean, it's not like her. Well, sure, it's nothing. Jane was supposed to be at a party when she... Oh, my God, oh, my God, no. Have you tried the brakes? Maybe she's with Frankie. Do you need a hand? Bit of a search party or something? Uh, yeah, I'll come too. OK, you know, but I don't want to... Oh, I must be cursed. Last time I gave a social gathering, poor Joshua. Oh, it's nothing to do with you. I shouldn't have come here. Is there anything we can do? Actually, even if there isn't, I think we'll just stick around anyway. I mean, something might crop up, right? OK, thanks. I suppose that's all any of us can do right now. Any luck, son? Mm, no. Has anyone tried the halfway house? Uh, Natalie and uh, Alex are on their way up there now. It's going to happen again. With Della. She'll turn up, love. She's got to. I just feel it. Della is not Jane. <sighs> Miss me? Become vile figment! Not exactly the hostess with the mostess, are we? What kind of welcome back is that? No wonder everyone's gone. What do you want? Thought you might need some company. You've been slipping back into your old habits recently. You know, losing families, that sort of thing. Samuel and I are perfectly happy. Thank you very much, little missy. So that's why he's traded you in for a new model? Oh, what? Surely you've noticed the resemblance. Skiddy Liddy. Sad, lonely, pathetic. She's your mini meal, right? Warts and all. How dare you? Get out! 
Moroccan was never my style. Okay, I'm going. Is oh. Stella here? No, she's not. Not with Josh. We were supposed to go out together tonight, but she's disappeared. Have you got any ideas? Have you tried the hospital? Well, why would she be there? Did you read the new letter Roxy got today? What did it say? It could happen again in the hospital. Well, he is not there and the room is empty. Oh, my God. What? The letter, the first letter. Which said your child is in danger. I mean, I thought it meant the baby, but it could be Della. No, no, oh, no. Let's go to the hospital. Come on. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Can I help you? She did visit earlier, but it was very brief. It was after visiting hours. So you saw her leave, did you? Yes. Shh. Your wife's asleep. And so is everyone else on the ward. She's not here. Come on, Willa. Have a word with security on the way out. Thanks. You're going to be all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's all just a storm in a teacup and she'll come back. It just, um... Yeah, it just made it all come flooding back about Jane. Of course. I better go. Okay. I'm sorry. What I said this morning was, uh, it was really rude, and um, I don't really know why. You know, I can't do this living in hope thing every day. It's torture. I would far rather that somebody came up to me. <laughs> and, said, and said that Jane is dead and Duncan is living around the corner somewhere with a new wife and child. I know we're all here because we're concerned about my beautiful niece, Della. But all I can say is this. I'm sure she's fine, and she'll turn up soon. I believe in happy endings. I thought I might kick off with this one. This hardly seems appropriate, considering. Oh, the curse of youth. Probably out gallivanting. But I don't know what your game is. To be honest, I couldn't care less. I've got more important things to do than to listen to some dried-up old hag who had to drag her own family through a court before they'd even go near her. Why am I in a hospital? I'd love to tell you. Seriously. But I can't. Why not? Because he made me promise not to. To? Ryan. <laughs> he doesn't need to know you told me. But even so, I still promised. Okay. If you can't answer that question, then maybe you can answer this one. What makes your promise to Ryan so important that you can't break it? Because he saved my life. So, basically, the deal with Ryan is he tells you to do stuff, and you do it. Like a puppet. And he tells me what not to do. 
things that I might normally do. Like seeing me. Yeah, stuff like that. Did he ban you from seeing me? Yeah. <laughs> Would you be seeing me now if it wasn't for Ryan? Maybe in another life. <laughs> what if I was to save your life now? Would you be my puppet? I'd have to take guidance on that one. Saved your life. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> OK, if you're not going to tell me why you're here, then I'm just going to have to guess. And as I'm getting warmer, maybe you could start to feel hot. True. OK. Did Ryan send you here? To see someone? To find something? I'm dying. I'm expiring from the heat. <laughs> okay, okay, you can get up now. No more questions. <laughs> you promise you won't tell him? I won't tell Ryan that you told me why you're here because you didn't. I guessed. spirit of it. But he doesn't own your spirit, does he? He just owns your life. He can tell you do this and don't do that. But he can't tell you what to feel in your heart, can he? No, that's still mine. Wakey, wakey. Time for work. Oh, cheers, love. Yeah, it's for that sort of reason people usually sleep in beds. <laughs> wait, hold it right there. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Where have you been? With Mum at the hospital. My little snake. Come here. I've been going crazy about you. Absolutely out of my mind. So's everybody else in the street. Do you know how many people there were in that pub? I thought the hospital. I can't even the hospital. Sit down. Sit down. Good doggy. I stop giggling. This is not funny. This is very, very not funny. <laughs> I went to the hospital with Natalie and Steph and you weren't there. Ask Mum if you don't believe me. She asked me to be there. She wanted me to find out who was sending the letters. But you weren't there. Did you look under the bed? She asked me to keep it a secret. But you know what she's like at the moment? Don't go there, right? Don't go into her world. I thought it was a cry for help. I thought she wanted to show me she was writing the letters. And did she? No. So what did you achieve? A lot of pain and worry, not just for me, but for your brother, for your mates, Frankie and Sam. And put Natalie's in pieces over this. How do you think she must feel about it, eh? With Jane and everything. Oh! And you completely ruined Rachel's soiree. <laughs> All you can do is sit there and smoke. Well, thanks for your consideration. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Go on, you better go. You'll be late. Right. See you later, Dad. Oh, there's some pies. Two bills for you and a letter for me. See you later, Dad. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Our oh, touching scene. Stan and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Surrogate Stan parents having breakfast in bed together. Dennis! Dennis, look at this. You let people on a box song and dance last night. Do you know that? What's this? It's from Mum. I found this pen in her car to get in the hospital, right? Now. Can you see the match? Go and look at this. So what's with this? Just tell me if you think these highlights are from the same pen. <laughs> no, definitely not. This one's yellow and that one's green. So Mum didn't write this letter then? Well, how should I know? Couldn't she have just used a green pen? She didn't do it, Dennis. Well, I don't get it. What is all this? It's OK. I'll tell you later. Tell her. No, oh, it's nice sleeping here last night. I have to admit. It was surprisingly comfortable, considering. <laughs> Duncan, there's something I should tell you. I went to see Natalie yesterday, and there was someone with her. He's called Woody. I don't know what's going on, but it seemed... I fear the worst. So... Perhaps what we were talking about last night, about starting new lives, isn't so theoretical after all. <sighs> Natalie! Hello. Guess who I saw at the hospital last night? Do you mind? Josh. Oh, really? What's wrong with him? Don't play dumb with me, Ryan. I know why he was there. Well, whatever he told you was a lie. Josh does what I say and he likes it. So, he doesn't blab. Oh, he didn't blab, Ryan. <laughs> you think you own him, don't you? But you don't. Not deep down. You banned him from seeing me. Is that right? Can I invoke the Fifth Amendment? Or... Is this just the kangaroo court? No, but you can do something for me. You can cancel that ban. Because if you don't, I'll tell your mum. I'll tell the police. I will tell everyone that you made Josh steal stuff from the hospital. Like this. OK. Josh can see you again. Phew, that was a long shift. I'll pop in and wait for Sam with you, if that's all right. Your feet must get terribly sweaty in those shoes. Well, obviously I'm on them all day, but actually they're really good. Well, I guess Samuel likes it that way, considering the reason he's going out with you. What do you mean? Oh, dear. Don't tell me you didn't... What? Oh. Lydia. What? Surely it must have occurred to you. Stunning specimen like Samuel, and well, you're hardly a centerfold. I'm sure you've got many fine qualities, but. It does seem too good to be true sometimes, but he's always. What has he said? <sighs> he loathes you, physically, for every interview. He's only going out with you because. because he was feeling down at the time. Samuel's always been such a charitable young man. You see, it, it cheers him up if he sees someone less fortunate than himself. Oh, oh, Lydia, I'm so sorry. I thought you knew. I thought that was part of the deal. Frankie. Hi. <laughs> um, Mike, Mike and I have been thinking, and there's... 
the Stella things really made us realise the importance of, of having your family around. And much as we love you staying, we think you should be at home with your dad. Is that so bad? It's not that, it's dad. I don't want to go there, it's, it's not nice. Why not? Because of his mistress. I wouldn't mind, but... She's in my class. Really? Who is she? Kay Ellis. Oh, hello! Hi. Oh, Steph, thanks for coming. How are you? Well, I think I'm about to pop. <laughs> You know, these really weird pains are going to keep me in overnight just to be on the safe side, you know? Mm. So you two are friends again? Yes. <laughs> I was overreacting. <laughs> no, Alex was giving me those pills. You know, Natalie prescribed them for him. Look, come here, you two. The reason I wanted to see you both was... You're my best mates in the whole wide world, right? And I know we've had our ups and downs, but we're mates, right? Yeah, and, um, we'd never do anything to hurt each other, would we? No, of course not. Mm. Yeah, of course. Mm. What the hell have you been saying to Lydia? She's in tears! I've just spent an hour trying to calm her down! It's for your own good, Samuel. I've seen her up and down Thornton Street spying and skulking and stalking her prey. She works there. I can see you are determined to shut me out. Well, maybe I am not the easiest person to brush along with, but perhaps I know a little more about the sacrifices involved in bringing up a family than you give me credit for. It wasn't always a bed of roses bringing up your mother. I gave up everything. Time to myself. Chance of a relationship. Stop it! I've heard it all before and it doesn't change a thing. Lucy loves Lydia. I like having her around. And if you make her feel the slightest bit unwelcome in this house, you'll lose us. All of us! So... Do we have a deal? Oh, you drive a hard bargain, Samuel. I accept her for your sake. Oh, this is unbelievable. I know, you showed the one that arrived this morning. What do you think? Well, I mean, if they're meant to be some clues towards something, then well, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, no, I just think it's some sick joke. I mean, just ignore him. Mm, he's so sensible, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, we'd better go. It's almost the end of visiting time. Oh, all right, love. Are you sure you don't want to see Alex before we go? He's waiting outside. No. No, he can sweat a bit longer. Look, I'm not going to let this go on for ages, all right? It's just... I'm just not ready to see him yet, that's all. Oh, come here, you. E. Bye bye, John. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, boy, I love you. Okay. Bye. 